Hello, I'm Jeff Phillips and welcome to this episode of Inkscape for Teachers. In this tutorial I'll be showing you how I constructed without a grid uh, the various major types of triangles shown here. So without further ado let me move over to the non-printing section and we'll start from scratch. Using the Bezier Pen Tool or B, you simply click and without holding the mouse down just click, let go click and then return to the last vertex, hover over it when you're in the exact position it will highlight red and click and you've got your triangle click a colour to fill it F1 or click the left mouse button on the select tool up here in the toolbox click off now again with the Bezier pen tool show you how to do a right angle triangle basically click, hold in the control key to constrain to vertical or horizontal, click and likewise join up and give it a fill. So they're the two easiest types of triangles to construct without a grid. F1, back to the select tool. For an isosceles triangle I'm going to draw some guides. So with the Bezier pen tool I'm going to click, control click for the base and press enter without closing a triangle. Back to F1 and I'm going to rotate that 90 degrees by clicking one of these two here. I, but first I'll duplicate it, Control D, then rotate that version and I'm just going to stretch this version up here and that gives me the corners of an isosceles triangle which I can now connect using the Bezier pen tool one, two, three and back give it a fill F1 for the select tool drag it over here and I don't need these guides I can delete those and if I wanted it slightly higher I can drag it up like that so that's one way to construct an isosceles triangle without uh, using the grid for an equilateral triangle again I'm going to draw a side first click, control and click Oops, oh, my uh, little box here is in the way, so I'll escape from that and move that away. Click, control, click, and enter just to finish the side. F1 or select tool. Now I'm going to duplicate that and using the square bracket, left square bracket key, one, two, three, four, because it's 15 degree increments, four lots of that is 60 degrees. And there's one of the other sides. While that's highlighted, I can reflect that in a vertical axis. Oops, Control Z. Control, control D to duplicate it first, then reflect it in a vertical axis, and I've got my two other sides. Make sure the snap to uh, nodes is highlighted there, and I'll just drag that into position. Now, that's all very well, but if I try to click that part of it and fill it, it won't do so, because you can't fill a line. So, what I'll do is I'll select the whole lot and then N for the node tool and I'll drag over each corner looks like it's not highlighted but it actually is active and join those two nodes into one you can see that's confirmed with a blue rectangle or diamond likewise on the other corner there and finally on the top and now I can with the select tool select the whole lot and give it a fill so there's how to construct the major triangle types now, if you want to put side markings on them, use the Bezier Pen tool and click, control, click and enter. I'm just uh, zooming in here. What I might do actually before I go much further is I'll select everything and give those strokes uh, a thicker stroke. Something like that. Okay, now with this side marking, Control D to duplicate and then drag it across. Control D to duplicate that one. Now it's snapping back, so I'm going to turn the snapping tools off and group those two. Control G, Control D to duplicate, Control Drag. I want to add one more to it. I can, um, I can Control click to select within a group, Control D and something like that. It's not evenly distributed, so 
So you might uh, ungroup them all, control U, and while they're ungrouped I'll redistribute them equally using this uh, icon and then control G to group them. So I've got my th uh, length markings that I can use. Now I'll just uh, control C to copy that one and control V down here and move it into position. Snapping tools aren't on. Look, you can do it by eye, but I prefer to turn the snapping tools on. Make sure this uh, midpoints snap icon is on. And if I hover over there, it snaps to the midpoint. If I want to, where are the marks? Copy the other two marks, control C, control V there. But obviously they're not on the right angle. What I can do is just click it a second time and I just do this by eye and it allows you to rotate something like that and drag into position if I zoom in you can see it's snapping to the middle of where is it? Uh, oh no that's right to the centre between them sometimes it snaps to one of the lines you want it in between the lines you can zoom in and usually get that while that's highlighted control D to duplicate reflect Select in a vertical axis and control drag across to here. If it's not snapping, let go of control and just move it until it snaps. And that's how you can uh, do the line markings. I won't do all the other triangles, the idea is the same. If you want to do a right angle triangle in the corner of the right angle triangle, click the squares tool and control shift and drag a square. Give it the right uh, stroke width, I think it was 0.5 I had before. F1 to select and just drag and snap it in the corner there. So that completes this tutorial. I'll just show you how my others look with the side markings. You see I've got them in position there. Hope that is of some use and as always, thanks for watching.